Welcome dear students. This is lecture 9 of module 4. It is a different, different method of measuring iron losses. We have already studied about there are two types of iron losses. If you are giving an AC supply to a magnetic circuit, there will be iron losses occurring. And two types of iron losses are hysteresis loss and core loss or eddy current loss. Next method of measuring iron loss. There are mainly four methods for measuring iron loss, but you need to study only one method, a Lloyd fixture square. Iron loss can be determined by watt meter method, AC bridge method, AC potentiometer method, oscilloscope method. And you have to study only Lloyd fissure square method under watt meter method. This is the circuit of a Lloyd Fisher square. See, this is a thing uh, you, you can see this is a complicated circuit, but when explaining the parts, it will become easy for you. First, we can see the parts. Strips are built into four stacks. Stacks. So these are strips. Listen, these four. These are strips. These strips are built into four stack. Okay. So this is the strip. Four strips. Two types of strips in each stack, one in direction of rolling and other cut perpendicular to direction of rolling. That is one in this direction, direction of rolling and another one is in perpendicular direction of rolling. Stacks are inserted in magnetic winding. So this is the magnetic winding. One, two, three, four. Stacks are inserted in magnetizing winding. This is the magnetizing coil. See the first two layer of coil is the magnetizing coil. All the magnetizing windings are connected in series from primary winding. So this is connected in series. Here is the starting coil. Here connected. This coil is connected in series. Here it is connected in series then the end terminal so the two terminals are one two okay this is the primary winding this magnetizing coil connected in series forms the primary winding below each magnetizing coil there are two similar single layer coils called secondary coil that is not shown here but below this magnetizing winding two layers of coils are there connected in series to form the secondary winding so actually in this circuit there will be one primary winding and two secondary windings will be there each coils are connected in series and two groups of secondary windings are obtained okay so this is the complete circuit of fluid fish square the main parts are there will be four strips each arranged one in direction of rolling and another one perpendicular to direction of rolling and there will be magnetizing winding which are connected in series this is series okay and this form the primary winding this is the primary winding magnetizing winding below this magnetizing winding there will be two layer of coil and these two are two secondary windings okay and this is uh, the iron piece in order to form the core this iron piece is inserted between these strips in order to form a complete closed circuit okay right angle corner pieces this is the equivalent circuit so this is the iron core here primary winding that is magnetizing winding and there are two secondary windings s1 and s2 okay this is the complete electric circuit of a lloyd fisher square s square iron core with primary magnetizing winding and two secondary winding Four magnetizing coil are connected together to form the primary that we have already discussed. It is connected to the transformer secondary through current coil of watt meter. See. So primary is connected to current coil of watt meter. Okay. So this is current coil of watt meter where you are connecting the primary of Lloyd Fisher square. This is a supply you are giving input supply and using a ratio transformer you are giving supply to the primary and in order to measure the current you are connecting it to a current coil of the watt meter. 
the pressure coil is connected to one of the secondary winding so this is pressure coil there are two secondary windings already mentioned there are two secondary winding pressure coil is connected to one of the secondary winding let it be s1 and an electrostatic voltmeter is connected to other secondary winding here you are connecting an electrostatic voltmeter supply voltage is adjusted using auto transformer till it reaches the maximum flux density and the voltage induced in secondary winding and wattmeter reading is observed you can adjust the uh, auto transformer this is the auto transformer to get the maximum flux in this lloyd fisher square and you have to set it as maximum flux density our aim is to find the iron loss so you have to set this for maximum flux density and note down the reading of wattmeter and electrostatic voltmeter the rms value of emf induced in the secondary winding is 2 okay that is emf induced in the secondary winding is 2 let this be emf induced in the secondary winding is 2 let this value be e2 let this voltage be e This equation for EMF induced in secondary winding 4.44 phi F N 2 volt. What is N to N suffix 2 means secondary number of turns in secondary winding. So 4.44 phi means area into flux density into frequency. This is the transformer equation. Okay. So 4.44 can be written as 4 into Kf. Kf is the form factor. 4 into 1.11. That is why it is written as 4 into kf into area into frequency into number of turns that is the equation for flux density b max maximum flux density equal to either you can write 4 into 4 uh, kf or 4 into 1.11 where kf is the form factor a is the area of cross section f is the frequency uh, n number of turns so in this figure Coming back to the equivalent circuit, let W is the total iron loss. So, this wattmeter reading, this is the total iron loss plus copper loss in the secondary circuit. So, this denote W denote wattmeter reading is W. W denote total iron loss plus copper loss. We need to find only iron loss let vpc voltage across pressure coil in volt so voltage across pressure coil be vpc okay voltage across pressure coil is vpc current through pressure coil is ipc so this is the current through pressure coil so this become ipc okay current through pressure coil be ipc rp resistance of pressure coil so let rp small rp be resistance of pressure coil rs resistance of secondary winding so this is the pressure coil and this is the secondary winding so rs be resistance of secondary winding both secondary winding has same number of turns so rs is the resistance of both the secondary winding e is induced voltage in s2 this is E, induced voltage in S2. Since induced voltage in S1 is same as S2, uh, as the number of turns are same. So, S1, voltage across S1 and S2 both are E. Since number of turns is same, resistance also same. Okay, so these are the parameters. Next we can derive the equation. What is the equation for E? E equal to IPCRP. See this figure. E. This voltage E equal to 
or this voltage E both are same voltage across S1 and S2 is same E equal to what is the voltage across the secondary winding voltage across E equal to IPC into what is the total resistance RS plus RPC RS plus RPC is the total resistance ok so uh, total voltage E secondary voltage E equal to IPC into RS plus RPC so that is this equation IP is RP plus RS ok next what is V this is only RP not RPC what is V V is voltage induced in the V or VPC voltage induced in the pressure coil VPC is voltage induced in the pressure that is voltage across this alone is VPC VPC or we can write this as V also V is same as VPC okay. what is V IPC into RP alone so V equal to IPC into RP so you got the voltage across E and P E is voltage across secondary V is voltage across pressure coil alone so this two equation you get next what is the total ion total loss total loss which is obtained from watt meter reading w but since there are two secondary windings here in this figure there are two secondary windings okay and watt meter power is measured from only one secondary winding so in order to get the total actual watt meter reading you have to multiply w into e by v that is like this total watt meter reading into E by V that is there are two secondary windings so in order to consolidate the correct value of power you need to find total power equal to W into E E is what is E voltage in the secondary winding both secondary are same so you are finding the E from this circuit the same is here V E so E by this V give you the total power W into E by V so what is total uh, this is the total loss which consists of iron loss and copper loss ok so what is the total copper loss alone copper loss is due to the load that is I square into RP plus R RS is total copper loss ok IPC square into RP plus RS that is the total copper loss I square into R or in otherwise you can return as E square by RP plus RS so what is the total iron loss iron loss equal to total loss minus copper loss total loss is WE by V and copper loss is E square by RP plus RC and writing this equation uh, E equal to IP into RP plus RS by V equal to IP into IPC into RP minus E square by RP plus RS. So from this iron loss equal to W into IPC IPC cancelled RP by RP equal to 1. So 1 plus RS by RP minus E square by RP plus RS. So this is the total equation for iron loss. Followed.